Girl Code is a set of largely unspoken, but generally accepted rules that guide women in their relationships with their friends and in their treatments of other women. Welcome to Girl Code Nigeria. On this episode of Girl Code, we'll be talking about sex education to sexual health and the absolute worst pregnancy scares. Our guests will be spilling all the sexy, awkward, and honest gist about sex. The appropriate age for a person to start having sex should be when you have the knowledge of sex, like the proper knowledge of sex. I grew up in England, for example, and the age is 16. So I used to think that was a decent age, but now that I'm older, I don't think that's a decent age. I think maybe 18 and above should be having sex. Nobody less. When you're ready to have kids. <laughs> <laughs> because hell more, <laughs> one is certain, one, you know, can now cause, you know. If I speak as a father, I'll tell my daughter, 18 years. But if I can please increase it to 20, I don't mind. But for a Yoruba mother, like 25, I'll be 30. Yes, thanks. Three myths I've heard about sex that every girl can squirt. That is not true. Those olden days, they'll say, ah, so what's more cool if you go near a man, you get pregnant. That every guy knows what to do. That is also not true. Ah, oh, this is a really good one. Do women really enjoy sex? Yes and no. Of course women enjoy sex. I don't understand this whole idea that a woman cannot enjoy sex. We are sexual beings. It takes a strong man to actually make a woman reach, um, the cloud nine. For me, it's yes and no, and I think it depends on who you're having sex with, because me, I've had some amazing sex, and I've had some dead, dry, crusty sex. Really crusty one. How women can be more sexually adventurous. We cannot kill ourselves. I watched a movie once called, it was something about Kama Sutra, this Indian film. It taught me a lot about sex. We only have it once. Let's enjoy it. Let's orgasm. Me, I even want to up. I don't even know how to do that one. I want to learn. There are also apps. There's like sex position apps. Did you know that? You can actually get into that. A wise woman once said, STIs are no fun, sex can be fun, and safe at the same time. Okay, after you have sex, um, you should always, always, even if you're not having unprotected sex, you should always try and go to the bathroom, pee, flush yourself out. I always say women should not wash with soap because naturally your it does clean itself. If you've had your bath before, do it again. Clean your very well, it's very important. Because if you don't, it's going to smell. What steps should people take to reduce the spread of STIs? Um, don't have sex! <laughs> Use your protection. Condom all the way. I think contraceptives are amazing. I know research is being done now for male contraceptives, and I think that's <laughs> it's about time. Should have been about time. I think it's a good idea, but I think people will abuse it. I don't know, but I think it's good for them. They should try to overuse it. It's a morning, afternoon, night, past, no, that, those, ah! <laughs> no, now. People will not be cautious enough anymore. Oh, it's all fun and games till you get a pregnancy scare. Is your period a few days late? Whoopsie! Have I ever had a pregnancy scare? Yes. <laughs> Have I ever had a pregnancy scare? Yes. Have I ever had a pregnancy scare before? Yes. I think it happens to me like basically all the time when I was in a relationship. Um, how did I deal with the episode? I basically prayed in tongues. Because <laughs> I was like, Lord, I don't want to have a baby right now. I'm too young. Say she's pregnant. I first say that for ah my man I say for, ah this boy you still you ask for that but I be more yeah. Then that was when I knew I I, I believed in you know that is the period that I'm always closer to the because I would tell God please if you can just save me this month. But after that once again, do I practice safe sex? The question should be do you have sex because no I don't have sex anymore. I'm giving my life to I don't know what sex is anymore. Did I practice safe sex after? after? They make a party skinny. I fire on you as a soldier. <laughs> when I did, I did practice safe sex because I think it's very important to protect yourself. In society, I think we need to start having open conversations within schools, in hospitals, at a younger age. Not just teach girls how to get a man. So you've heard from our guests. Make sure to tune in next time for more juicy gist with our fabulous guests. Bye!